back to another video of Code. In previous video, we have said that the next video will talk about the CSS box model. So in this video, we are going to talk. Our topic is the CSS box model, and this will in this video we will totally understand this CSS box model, how it's actually work, and how this CSS box model everything is working in this model property, and everything will be analysis into these videos here. So you can see on my basic HTML file, I have added this. This is not just only the different type. It's just the previous this previous margin property we have write that that is the same code you can see that the same output and same everything so this is the basic code this is not changing anything else so there is i have made only one change that is body for this display flex so that this item goes to center here i am not using any margin property you can see this the previous property all is the minimized from these places so let's go to this understand this box model so here i am going to decrease that skin okay that's it so you can see this is our property here this padding property so now we will go to this box under string so let's open this inspection mode or you can say it's a development tools you just need to click on to your mouse right key and click on the inspection mode then you can see it will be open this type of file here you can see there so here you will find your this basic html file okay let me come to this from this body edit html file okay not need that so i can directly open one by one all classes here so let me hide this style okay that's it so here we can see this is our html file and inside of this you can see all of this our css element inside here you can see the right side this all of our css this is padding we have this padding with background and all of these things here so you can see this is the first on this our main topic is about to box model you can see this is called a box model you can see that this box model so this is the first let's understanding it one by one there you can see the last of first of all we have this margin property that universal margin so this margin is working from this all of these places here automatically this is margin when we are going to press it so you will be see here so this was this working for this this margin so when i'm going to see that so you can see this margin property this was this was the whole margin from these places from this top part top bottom right left this space it's gonna saying we are going to saying that margin so here you can see this margin here and this one is border so here if we want to add here border so for this border it will be work for the border here so for example if i'm gonna add any border here so let's add a border so two pixel solid and hashtag cc not it's one not be good so let's use that black color okay that's it so here this border this is our border this border property here this border and after that this margin sorry the, after that is padding property so here is our padding property you can see this padding property is 10 pixel 20 pixel this is our padding inside of this one where i'm going to hold on this box model the padding you can see on this left side or this your our element it was getting this type of you can see just more look about this it was getting this identified that is it's working here this section is padding section and after that we have this width and height section this one is 306 and 161 point something height and width is 306 and you can see we have this side 350 so as per to this condition by after adding this padding and this whole sizes of this it was taking around to this the text sizes this is our text this is taking this around to this pixel of size you can see when i hover on this size 306 into 161 so it was identified the right side left side you will must notice that when i hover on it it was identified that text whole section here so you can see this this was the actual width and height for the text sizes so here you can see like this type of we analysis for the box model for any type of website viewpoint of element here so first we have margin then we have border then if we have padding so there's padding and then we have this text size width and height and this all of this element if we add here so most of more property here so that also will be included this box model that property if is different like now we have this all property here margin border padding this property if it the other kinds of things so that property will be also included in the 
box model it will be automatically added here so this is the box model understanding hope you understand this how actually the box model work and how we can understand this box model which section is where it was working and the implication is where the padding and margin was where it was implementing this our designing and all of these parts here so hope you understand this box model so hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video please like on this and share it with your friends and please subscribe and thanks for watching this video